The holidays are among us, folks, so we're gonna do a holiday cottage photo shoot and get the heck out of the city. But Chris and I only have one car. We share a vehicle. So we used the best peer-to-peer -peer car sharing marketplace to book this Tesla Model X. We bouged out a little bit because Turo is sponsoring today's video and I'm a big fan of electric vehicles. So we're using this vehicle to take us all the way up north to a cottage to do a little self-portrait photo shoot. The car was actually super easy to book. We used an app. This is how easy it is to book using the Turo app. You tap up here, you put in whatever your address is, you can change the trip dates, you can change the pickup drop off time, and then you just search. There's also another like filter section over here where you can adjust the price, whether you want an SUV, a van, a truck, a minivan, you know, all of those things. And then you just pick the one you're interested in. You can swipe through photos, see all the details about the car. If you're not sure which one you want to pick yet, you just want to save some of your favorites. There's a favorite section. You can see all your past trips. There's an inbox and a notifications area where you can talk to the actual host and figure out where you want to drop off the car if that hasn't been set up in advance. It's just so easy, it's so intuitive. I love that you don't have to talk to a person in car rental sites, they're just so confusing and this is so fast and easy. I booked it on Friday, today is Monday. Seamless experience getting it dropped off. So if you've never heard of Turo before, it allows just regular people to post their cars and rent them to other people. So if you have a car or you have two cars or three cars and you're not using one all the time, you can make a little extra money. Or for people like me, I don't have to talk to another person. And last minute for shoots or situations or maybe a weekend vacation, you can easily book a vehicle. We booked a Tesla Model X because it's pretty and it's white and I like, to, I like electric vehicles. And so now we're gonna drive up north. Check out the link in my description to book your dream car or vehicle through Turo. Take some pictures. This cottage is called Black River House if you want to look it up on Airbnb, but we obviously had to leave the city to get a really cute cottage, cozy location like this. So what we're shooting with today is my A7R4 and we'll be using my tried and true, ever so trusty, lightweight peak design travel tripod. I love this guy. It's just so intuitive, so easy to use. I have a bunch of videos on why I choose this as my favorite travel tripod. So the vibe that we're going with for the photos today is natural, effortless. Think of like little scenes from a movie. So they're not gonna be too heavily posed. I want them to feel really authentic. Like you're getting little moments in time from like a stay at a cottage. So obviously I'm dressed really casually right now. I might literally just change into a baggy t-shirt later to kind of give more of a homey, like just waking up or just going to bed kind of effect. And we're gonna make these seem really nostalgic, really film-like, really warm and cozy and holiday and then Josh and I are gonna have a great night afterwards editing them. <laughs> Pose number one, the winter home. For this shot, we had the camera placed pretty far away from me to get a full body angle and to show off the space. I love framing a shot just outside of a door frame so you can see the edges of the frame on either side. This adds depth to the photo as well as a feeling of being on the outside looking into a more intimate scene. I decided to shoot landscapes so that you could see the fireplace beside me and the kitchen off to my right, giving context to the scene. For all of these shots, I used the Sony Imaging Mobile app to have a live preview of my shot and to start the countdown to take the photo. It was all about timing as I set my camera to a five second countdown and perched my feet up just at the right time. Taking self portraits is all about trial and error, so don't get discouraged if you're not nailing it the first time. I sometimes took 10 plus photos before I got the one I liked, which actually isn't that much when you think about it.
Pose number two, cozy by the fire. This one really says winter cottage wonderland, but we wanted to give it an architectural digest vibe too. Shooting landscape, I framed myself off to the left of the composition and gave equal weight to the fireplace to my right. To make it look not superposed, I chose positions and actions that you would actually find me in if I was sitting in a chair, like normally, without a camera in front of me. I used a book as a prop to give me, the subject, a purpose or action in the scene, and we removed the cover of the book so that we could add a pop of color. It can be more playful and relaxed to sit in a chair in different ways, and having my feet outstretched helped balance the photo. Honestly, the funniest part is having to set the timer and then freeze in place for the photo, but I'd say they turned out pretty great. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Turo. Turo is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing marketplace where you can book the perfect car or even list your own car for some extra cash. As someone who is busy running a business and traveling a lot, I love that Turo breaks free from the traditional car rental experience. No more waiting in lines at rental counters, no more hoping to get a good car. Turo has over 1,000 makes and models. For my road trip today, we wanted to be eco-friendly and we rented a Tesla Model X. An electric vehicle. You can even do what I did and have the car delivered to your location. So that's great for arriving at airports or hotels. And for the holidays, this would be the perfect transportation for a little weekend getaway like ours. Check out the link in my description to book your dream car or vehicle through Turo. Pose number three, the couch potato. I shot vertically for this photo because the leading lines in the room with the coffee table, ceiling, and couch all draw attention to me in the middle of the frame. Again, the idea here is to make these poses look effortless. What would you be doing chilling on a couch in a cottage? Probably just relaxing or maybe reading a book. Spreading your legs out on the couch is also a good way to show how comfortable you are in the setting. And then pointing your legs towards the camera, especially when using a longer lens, also helps to elongate your body. Pose number four, morning brew. I put on a much more straight out of bed outfit for this one to make it seem like I'd just woken up. Again, I'm really into the whole, this could be a frame from a movie or moment from real life effect. So my goal was to make this look as natural yet as artistic as possible. This is a fun composition to play with because we had the camera placed super far back in between, again, a door frame, as if someone is peeking through the next room. I mean, in a cute way, not a creepy way. We used the steam from the coffee machine to add an interesting element or some movement to the photo, and I hid my phone behind the machine to trigger the photo. Sneaky, sneaky. Pose number five, Bedhead. Similar to the last composition, I had the camera placed in between the door frame, facing straight into the bedroom. The cottage is pretty small, so this helps us make the space seem larger while drawing attention to the subject of the image. I positioned myself away from the camera, facing the window, so I could get some light on my face. But I still kind of cheated myself to make sure you could see the profile of my face. The timing of this shot was tough, because I wanted to flick the bed sheets away from me as the shutter was going off to get movement in the sheets, so I had to use a slow shutter of 1 over 50 to be able to achieve this. It took a bunch of tries and I even tried some more simpler poses, but all in all, I like how cute these bed photos turned out. And then don't forget angle light lens to try something different in a scene. So we changed up the lighting and turned on a side light to create a really cool silhouette. So now rather than a morning scene, it looks like I'm going to bed at night.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you Turo for sponsoring. Otherwise we wouldn't have been able to come all the way up here to be able to do this and take the time to actually have like a little holiday getaway this year. Normally I just stay at home. So Josh and I are loving this. If you guys like this video, please give it a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. And I will be here chilling tonight in this cottage. I hope you too get to go away this holiday season and you have a nice time with your families and um, happy holidays. I love you all so much. I hope you get some nice presents and eat lots of nice food. Okay, bye. <laughs>